Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 2 Playoffs, well Season 2 Play-Ins, not Playoffs, for the uh, Finals. We've got Manager 1 here, or <laughs> also known as Diomed, up against Manager 2, which is Moomin Slayer. So Diomed was top of the league for most of the season with his Orcs, and he's taken Orcs to the Play-Ins as well. And... Um, Moomin Slayer has got Underworld, so it's pretty interesting to see Underworld in action, of course. I haven't played them much, haven't played against them much, so I'm I'm always interested in a bit of Underworld knowledge, and their uh, Orcs, you know, pretty standard, but I think they should have been Lizards. I just feel like Lizards are just better than Orcs. That's my opinion. In the booth with me is Squirrel Dude. Hello! Howdy, I'm eating apple chips. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Now, I don't know how experienced um, Moomin Slayer is with this team, but um, the pros tell me your Snotlings are pretty valuable and you shouldn't uh, put them on the LOS. So, um, there you go. Maybe you also shouldn't put them on the sidelines where at the beginning of the game you can easily use get enough players to block their sidestep squares i think that's fine if somebody if somebody's going to commit five five players to surface not late <laughs> against a roger who who what could go wrong <laughs> but yeah you've just instantly had two snotlings removed like yeah, that, that's what the pros tell me. So, you know, probably should have put goblins on the LOS, protected his snots, and, uh, you know, maybe see if Because it's good, like, yeah, they're rubbish players, but, like, you know, if you protect... Like, you still, you'd still rather have them on the field than not on the field, right? That's the thing. Mm hmm And uh, you want to be able to... I guess we're going to go in with a roger blitz into a big foul. And this is pretty great, right, if he pushes him out. And he does. But already he hasn't got a snotling to, to foul. <laughs> so there's no there's no big gang foul. He's he's lost two, and this could have been a Skaven assisting, so straight away like this is already a bit of a disaster for Moomin Slayer. I don't really like um, blitzing the wrestler. I guess it was to try and get a hit on the roger. But I mean, yeah, I, would, I, would I, had, just... I had a similar thought. Yeah, I don't, you don't always like hitting the wrestler, right? Just because no. he's like literally the worst person to hit because he's actually got defensive skills that matter. I think I'm just going. Uh, I'm blitzing this not on 3D with my blow, or you know, blitzing the attack. But I think without with 3D, uh, the mighty blow is actually better than attack. In this situation, probably, yeah. yeah. Are there only five snots? Maybe. There's three, four, five, yeah. Five. So, yeah, actually getting them, uh, getting them off the field really makes it hard for them to eventually maybe even have enough to get a good amount of uh, swarming rolls. So, actually, it is quite meaningful to remove mm. them right now. It always is. Snotlings, snotlings are, like, pretty good, you know. <laughs> like, they dodge on twos and stuff. But... There we go, dead. They foul and make people dead. <laughs> Apple yeah, works. when they're on a team that has like other good players and not ogres, they you know being able to have a two plus assist that can go anywhere and like a worthless player that can foul is quite good. Yeah. Because of course, you know, fouling is it's just any player can equally foul, so it doesn't really matter. So having a mobile fouling thing is just as good as a high strength skilled one that doesn't have, you know, three player. Yeah. Which is weird, but... Here we go, now we've got the Mighty Blow hit. Oh, well, Tackle would have got the knockdown and Mighty Blow doesn't, but never mind. I still like glitching with the Mighty Blow. Yeah. I mean, you're still, what, like 75% odds to knock it down, something like that? It's yeah, been pretty high. Pretty high yeah. Nice foul. Yeah, lovely. Gym foul. 
Oh, jugs. Gets the power. He should have filled that right, and then he could have hit the mighty blow as well, maybe. I don't know, maybe should he could have filled that, and then he could have hit the mighty blow too. He's just going to run all the way around with foul attack. Sent off for a stun. Argue the call rolls are one. <laughs> so no more no more arguing and probably a lot less fouling with already you know down two slots permanently. About to lose more maybe. Mm-hmm. I'm about to lose the gutter here. Oh wow. Yeah. Good job, Alit, so that route's coming back. Oh, he was he was on the snot. I didn't realise he was on the snot. <coughs> oh, right. Sorry. What he, what he could have done here is... He could have... Uh, this black oak could have run around the back. Mm -hmm. And then he could have filled in that square from the roger. And then he could have pushed so he, this square, blocked the roger... Chained out the snotling to there, and then the mighty blow got to hit the gutter, and that's what you've got to do when you play Underworld. <laughs> you have yeah, one objective. Yeah, fucking gutter runner. Yeah, if we, yeah. If we, well, you've got two objectives. One, stay alive <laughs> on your offense, because you know they might bang you out with all the fouls and stuff. But uh, you know, if you start like once you once once you even start to get the upper hand, your objective is kill the gutter runner, <laughs> because if you don't, they'll just one turn you anyway. And if you can, just foul better than them, too. That is also a helpful strategy. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. And uh, at this point... This is it. Uh, I did change that not title in our end. You should probably need to refresh. Unless it just did. Sometimes it doesn't register, right? Like, I did change the title. There we go. So we do have... If this is a power, we've got the hit on the gutter. And it is the power. <laughs> Ro oh <laughs> And you make it 3D on the gutter. Ooh. And protect the ball. No, I don't think he's got another guard. I guess, okay, you want one light blow and not tackle. Okay, that was my only other question I had. Oh! oh. <laughs> he got the push reroll. <laughs> reroll in the dub skulls, amazing. Yeah, you want mighty blow, honestly. I think even with yeah. two dice, because you just, you have to remove it. Like, it's it's no good just powering it. Yeah, he rerolled the push into dub skulls. Which I completely, I completely advocate. Even though it means he's gonna get the ball hit on two DB wrestle, like, you know, maybe, maybe he could have protected the ball better before he did that. I can to the reroll on a push, and yeah, because this yeah. is obviously pretty bad right now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he did the jump. That jump. Ah. Yeah, exactly, Jelly. Like, you, you need removals. You don't just want to knock him over, right? Like, who, who cares about knocking over the gutter runner? You have to kill it. You have to, you have to kill it. Because if you don't kill it, he's going to win. <laughs> so you must kill the gutter. You must. Your, 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 oh, here we go. Your mission is to kill the gutter, not, not just punch it and knock it over. Accepted is to eliminate this target at all means possible. <laughs> uh, nothing. <laughs> Classic. Classic wood ball. Oh my god, he's he's only got two more turns left. <laughs> the 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 the, the uh, Mister Throw is barely in range. <laughs> he's got a GFI three times. <laughs> well, now he could do a GFI by having to hand it off. 
Yeah, but it's in the rain, right? So he's he's got to he's got to he's just got to make these three G fives now with one reroll. Oh my goodness, the orcs are getting their uh, their payment in blood for these uh, even basically all up. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah, it's working out pretty well for them. They've got a big foul as well. Like, well, not such a big foul, but they've got a foul as well. Afterwards. Yeah, has to do both this turn in case yeah. some crazy dice happen and he gets pushed back. Yeah, he got a foul in. There we go, KO. All right, half the time you at least don't face a one-turn threat, which is kind of good enough. Just more and more rolls to put on that, basically. Yep. Well, you know, the Roger, Roger can't TT him, can it? No, it can't, no. Oh, he's rolled a one! Oh, he uses his last reroll to get the GFI in. Hello, Olivia Dula. That was really close, yeah. How lucky can you be having the exact amount of rerolls to get, be able to score? And the roger, there, the roger, the uh, cutter stays out and does the roger, and that was terrible KO rolls. Four ones, quads, diced again. Normal so dice. dice. Why can't I ever have normal dice? <laughs> you know, if the, the orcs hadn't played better, they would have been diced by uh, rolling quads on their next block, so, you know. For once, they didn't get uh, screwed over by the dice. <laughs> Unfortunate for them. <laughs> Still trying the one turn, which I like. Hmm. It's really not going to get removal against orcs, if we're being honest. <laughs> um... Going for alignment's probably not worth it anymore. Oh god, is Gutter and the Rogus stay out? So there you go, this... This game stands in stark contrast to the way my went in terms of removals, but um, <laughs> yep, there we go. This looks pretty easy for the Orcs. This team looks pretty rubbish when it's got 11 players. <laughs> no big guy and no gutter. <laughs> and, yeah, when it, does he even have 11 players? Are there even 11 players on the field right now for this? No, he's got 10. He's got 10. Yeah, yeah Underworld look bad when they only have 11, let alone they have 10. Yeah. He's using the quick snap to just give away more hits next turn, I think. <laughs> I'll try and score as soon as possible, right? Like, if he can try and yeah. score as soon as possible and then get, you know, get his players back. He's got a chance. You tell him well, he's he going through to provide assists. Oh, he I double one. Well, yeah, 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 he double one. And yeah, he was going to yeah, commit assists. Oh man! Oh, this looks so, this looks so bad, doesn't it, for the for the underworld? <laughs> Flip me. Yeah, they're man. Underworld are a strange team. They look unbeatable, and then when things go bad, they are just awful. Yeah. They're like lizards, but this can happen more often, basically. Yeah. It feels like anyway. Yeah, I don't. I really don't like them. I really don't like them. It it seems weird to me that like you know. I mean, good players like them because they're the best, basically. But maybe that's the only reason they like them, rather than you know they don't actually like them. Like them, they just they just play them because they're the best. But I, I suppose there's also just the reality that um, in NAF style, this loss is the exact same as being in, in the game for 16 turns. Like, there's no meaningful difference yeah. between those two losses really so. also also you never ever ever want to draw in tabletop right a tabletop map event yeah. you never ever want to draw the game if you if you if you all go to every event and you get three wins and three draws you will never ever ever win an event again <laughs> whereas if if underworld go and win six and oh and then crap out oh and six well then you'll win half the tournaments you won't won't you so yeah yeah elliot did always like underworld yeah like obviously like people will like them but 
In, uh, you like vampires as well, don't you? Oh, yeah, I do lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> Most like vampires and like you know like you know like Chunter likes rats and stuff, doesn't he? So like people people like these shitty dice rolling teams. <laughs> I don't, but people do like shitty dice rolling teams. <laughs> There's probably a poker analogy here as well. That um I'm not where you know, you just play playing more aggressively or something such a thing where yeah, you're gonna crap out of tournaments more often, but that's not the point. Yeah. Yeah, and you've, you've got to do, like, the plus EV plays, right? Even if it means yeah. you, you, you go out on the bubble more, if it, if it translates to more tournament wins, that's that's obviously the better play. Like, you've just, you've just, got, yeah. to, you've just got to do that, so... Yeah. Often you see the people on the bubble, like, start to play rubbish to, to try and limp into the bubble, whereas really they should be trying to win the tournament still, because that just pays out much, much more than... Uh, mm -hmm. Than you know, making making the money every time. Yeah, this game is pretty much over. Yeah, <laughs> absolute massacre. Yeah, the underworld needed to probably get more for what they got out of that sack in that first half. Because after that, they just it is the thing that can happen every time you go for a sack. Uh, if you go for it a bit too much and just don't come up with anything, you're and you go for that sack. Uh, person who you did that to is just going to beat the shit out of your team. Yeah. yeah. The old trap sack, Dio's... Uh, <laughs> well, Dio's perfected it, but it's invented by Space Cadet. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> glorious. A glorious bit of Space Cadet. -ing. Do you think vamps are all P, Elliot? Because uh, I remember before you'd played them, you were like, nah, no, no opinion about them. <laughs> and now it's they're all P. No, not really. <laughs> I mean, Underworld are definitely all P in, like, Nasta, aren't they? I mean, Underworld are helped by continuously getting, like, in Tier 2 and stuff. Like this one, right? Like, they were two, Tier 2 and this for, like, no reason. Like, people people love to just make them Tier 2. They benefit from, like, all of the subtle things about NAF. The resurrection is incredible for them because they can just be balls to the wall aggressive and just come back the next game completely fine. <laughs> uh, the star players that are broken, they get all of them. All the <laughs> yeah. broken star players. Um, yeah. They benefit from almost all of the cheap inducements to an inordinate amount compared to other teams. <laughs> yep. Just buy into them, and yeah, their underworlds. So people underrate them and give them like tier two and tier three all the time when they should be tier one probably. Yes, well, tier zero. If 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 there's an option, <laughs> if there's an option, make them tier zero. And they also started with like the most bonkers ability that everyone was like, huh. That seems pretty good. And then they played like, no, actually, no, this is busted. Stop. Get, get swarming out of here. This is, this cannot continue the way it is. This is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Original, original swarming was insane. I love, I love, like, and I'm, again, like I've said this a few times, because, like, obviously it, it's not earth shattering to call it. But I just like that it's on record, you know, like that uh, as soon as as soon as the rules were leaked, I was like, this is the most insane rule that's ever been printed. <laughs> because, you know, it obviously was, but still. Grabbing the nettle. I've never heard of that expression before, BB Jock. Grabbing the nettle. Yeah, swarming, yeah. Like it's insane. The ordering it's... it alone is crazy. Yeah. Well, sorry. So it wasn't the rule, right? It was. It was them having it. Like it's on a real yeah. team. <laughs> yeah. It was a real team having swarming was the thing. <laughs> yeah. Not not what's having it. Yeah. An actual, an actual good, an actual competent team or a team that has always been like this team could actually be kind of good if it had a couple more things. And you gave it a gutter runner because of screw base design and people thought that was bad and actually no. No, it's very amazing to have a gutter runner. Yeah, of glorious. Of all no, I won't give in oh. until I'm victorious. 
and I will defend. I will defend. Of, of all What's the What's going things... on, everyone? Not everyone, Raina. Not everyone. No. Some of us with brains were like, <laughs> were like, how on earth can like the best player in Blood Bowl be a nerf? Um, but yeah, <laughs> thank you very I much. I thought the worst it could ever be is a minor trade-off. Like, oh, I guess they're kind of worse at killing, but they're going to be better at scoring. That's going to be a slightly different team. The idea that this is worse is, like, impossible. It's just a slightly different team. That's those low as I could ever get to it. The idea that it would be worse is crazy. Getting yeah. one of the two or three best players in Blood Bowl on the team. It's and insane. And trade off of a Storm Vermin. It's insane. When, when we have the... Mutation access. Yeah, when, yeah, it's a super gutter. It's not even a gutter, it's a super gutter. When, when we had the CRP Ultra where we just made any team we wanted, every single team had a gutter runner in it. <laughs> like, every single one. And uh, anyway, Poet Biscuit, thank you very, very much. Staying fantastic for 33 glorious months. That's, uh, that's a lot of beavers. Eight beavers. Eight whole beavers. And uh, this is a very nice tournament. It's the end of the... The end of the season finals, and uh, so people co qualified by their ladder placings mostly, and then there's like a big tournament, a really weird tournament, kind of like double elimination, to get to the top 16, and then the top 16 will have a tournament as well. All very exciting. There you go, that's what's going on, and uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> So, I, I, Meadow is saying that if war, if Wood Elves had to replace a War Dancer with a Gutter Runner, it would be a nerf. And I'm not even sure that's true. Because a Gutter Runner, especially in CRP rules, it gives War Dancers, like, access to a Natty with one move up. Yeah. I actually think that could be a buff to them if they, if they still keep their other War Dancer. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's funny as well because also in the CRP Ultra, every single team had a war dancer as well. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Literally every single team. So he probably scored on this Blitzer, right? Um, yeah. He either scored or he didn't, but we don't know if he uh, if he made the GFI or not. So we can go back and look at the score of the game, <laughs> or if he even tried, he did. He did right. make that GFI and score. So there you go. That's... In the case that gold differential matters, he has one more than perhaps he would normally. Good yeah. for him. Yeah. No, no. Touchdown difference doesn't matter at all. Though. So this is just... Uh... Well, there you go. So, nice win for Diamed. Um, yeah, just just absolutely, you know, a bit of a dicing, right? Like, uh, it wasn't that he, you know, he played amazing or anything. He just banged out what he hit, didn't he? Which is which is what you need. Like, killed the, killed the gutter that stayed KO for the whole match. Killed the roger that stayed KO for the whole match that happens you've got a real good chance and uh there you go commiserations Moomin slayer who you know again maybe not experienced with underworld uh the pros tell me to uh protect your snots so you know I, I, yeah. that's the thing is it's it's a it's a trouble because i think a lot of people are i think that's why there hasn't been an, enough underworld because people aren't comfortable with them because i know i'm not so there you go and uh, i think Elliot probably would have suggested that maybe a withdrawn offense or some different approaches as well that we've seen for the coaches who've struggled with underworld on their offenses in particular taking some serious casualties so yes there's a yeah. learning curve for this team yeah there's the, i think i think they're the hardest team to play to the best the highest amount right i think i think the highest level of play i think these are the most different to all of the others, whereas I think you know, I think if you're a, if you're a good orc coach, you can play some dwarves and you can play some lizards and stuff. Like lizards have got a little bit to them, right, with like the speed and stuff, but like it's it's not too much. Whereas uh, with these guys, I think there's they're really weird and uh, it, it doesn't matter. You, if you need to be like a, de a true no. degenerate rat player or something to know how to play underworld kind of out of the box. I think just like full on removals and fouling horrible skaven. Yeah, they're different. Only caring about the one turn. Yeah. <laughs> they're different. I've been so fucking obsessed with rats. <laughs> Thanks, you're about to go on a holiday, and you and like you can't even fucking qualify with the team. Uh, you just decide to play more fucking rats. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone play that much fucking rats? Jesus Christ. Brilliant. And that bombshell. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>